Okay, let's take a look at uh, creating a loop in Cinema 4D. So I'm going to create something, let's say a capsule. And I'm going to animate the properties of this capsule. Uh, on frame 0, we'll have it start there. And frame 15, I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees, as, as well as move it another point in space and hit a keyframe. We have two keyframes. I'm going to add a third just for demonstration. I'm going to have it uh, at frame 30 move down and be somewhere towards the middle and down. And I'll go ahead and rotate 360 degrees and add another keyframe. So it's rotated completely once and moved down. So let's say we wanted to create um, some sort of loop or a repeat of this object, of this object's animation. The way we do that is go by going into the tracks. And you'll notice if you click on the object uh, under the summary, go under functions, you have an, a section called track after. Right now it's on constant. We're going to look at repeat, offset, repeat, and oscillate. So if we just select this on repeat and play our timeline, you'll notice that it pops back to the beginning. It repeats the animation over and over and over, and we'll do this as long as your timeline lasts. Okay, so let's look at uh, offset repeat. So what offset repeat is going to do is it's going to play it and it's going to continue the object's location at the last frame, but repeat the motion. So let's observe what that looks like. So same animation, and now it's repeating the animation, leaving where it left off, or starting where it left off. So using the location in space at the last point, but repeating the animation uh, frames over and over. So. The next one that we want to look at is oscillate. And oscillate, if you think of a wave, oscillations of a wave, um, oscillate will basically just go back and forth. So it's going to play the animation over and over uh, in a backwards and forwards motion. Oscillate might be good for making a pump or a cylinder in an automobile or something like that. So a few easy methods of uh, making a repeat. Incidentally, if you really did want a true loop, you would probably want to use um, track after repeat. And what you want to do is make sure that the last keyframe, I'm holding that control and I'm dragging my keyframe, make sure that the last keyframe is the same as the first keyframe. And by doing that, we're creating a repeating motion over and over and over that will loop uh, infinitely. And infinitely until your timeline runs out. So, methods of creating loops and repeats.